this is a really quick, really, really quick dish, which is nice with chicken. You need a little bit of oil. Okay. Not a lot, but a tablespoonful of, of oil. Use a nonstick pan, use a lot less oil. Right. We want some ginger. That we're gonna grate. And we want, but we don't have to do this. We'll do this after as I get the chicken, first of all. Now don't forget to look after my chicken. And now I want it nice and crispy for later, all right? Um, and uh, we just get our chicken breasts boneless skinless and we just put them in to the hot pan very quickly to sear that's all just let them sit there for a couple of minutes <clears throat> and, uh, you never see anybody wash their hands that quickly before have you? Right. now we want some ginger so we just grate some ginger if you don't want to grate the ginger well, you can just cut thin slices off it like that. It's your decision, all right? But we're not gonna put the ginger in for a minute. We want a little bit of garlic. And this time we're gonna put the garlic cloves in whole, right into the pan, so they get a nice gentle flavor of garlic. And these are cooked here now. See, that one doesn't take very long to do the outside. Put the garlic in whole, and it won't burn. And the bits of ginger we'll put in there to flavor the oil. All right. Not in there right now. And we'll put the, the ginger, put that in the pan too. And oh, the, that's about what we've got to do at the moment. Now, we need some cherry tomatoes, some salt, and some pepper. You put salt and pepper in everything. I do, um, so pepper. And if you don't like salt, there are things you can do. A little bit of vinegar helps a lot. I mean, you need something that gives you a little bright brightness to what you're doing. Okay. So that, that hot, hot oil. See the underneath cooking now. Now what you do? See, that's done nicely now. Now what we do now is to dump in, we've got the ginger in there, some cherry tomatoes, and just give them a little bit of a stir, and put in the smallest amount of water. Really a small, if you don't want to put water in, you put wine in. You can put wine, you can put apple juice. You know, you can, what, what you've got that matters. I've even put chamomile tea in there on one occasion. You just want a little tiny bit. A little, very little tiny bit, because what's going to happen to that, see already it's steaming away, and it will make steam, we'll turn the heat down to low, and it will cook the tomatoes, and the juices will go together with the thing, and the steam will evaporate, and you pretend the water's never been there. In here, we've got this starting to cook, the, the, the peas are starting to come, the, the, potato, the tomatoes are starting to turn color and get soft, and that's going to sit there for about another two or three minutes. All right, now we're just going to finish, finish this chicken. Have a look here and see how that little bit of water has turned into a great sauce. It's thickened with the juices out of the chicken and the tomatoes. Put in some frozen peas. All right, just for the last couple of minutes of cooking, just let it get on. I'll just give that little poke down so that the peas actually do get in. And then see, it starts to look nice even in the pan with the contrast of the, the red and the green. A little bit of extra salt would be a good idea on those peas. Okay. Right, now there's our chicken with tomatoes and peas. You know, a pretty little dish, that one.